Hi Audio Geeks, welcome back to the channel, it's great to see you all. Now this has been a really exciting week for Apple fanboys like me and audiophiles also like me because Apple Music has finally launched in a lossless streaming tier and the best bit about it is that it costs no more than the standard Apple Music streaming. So that makes a refreshing change. However, it isn't exactly obvious how to listen to Apple lossless streaming across all your devices. So I thought it would be useful to do a quick video showing you how to get the best out of it. And it's a little bit different depending on whether you're using a Mac or an iDevice, i.e. an iPad or an iPhone. As of yet, the lossless streaming doesn't seem to be activated in the Android app of Apple Music. I believe it's coming, but it's certainly not available to me anyway at the moment. So let's look at iOS devices first. And I'm using an iPad, but the situation is pretty similar on an iPhone, except for the fact that you've got a lightning port rather than the USB-C port, as we'll see as we go along. So first of all, you need to turn on the lossless streaming in settings. So if you go into settings and into music, uh, amongst all the usual stuff, you will see new options. Now, we're not going to be talking about Dolby Atmos today. I know a lot of people are excited about spatial audio. I must admit, I find it pretty underwhelming personally. I don't find the quality great, so I think it's a bit gimmicky. I will do another video about it if you want me to. So you should have some new options as long as your server has been updated. Uh, so if you click onto this audio quality button here, you will see an option to toggle on and off lossless audio. So let's turn it on and then you get to choose under what circumstances you want to stream lossless audio. So if you're on an iPhone, for example, and you're using mobile data, you might not want to stream lossless if you're constrained with regard to your data limit. I've left mine on AAC mainly because when I'm out and about, I'm not really gonna hear the difference, I'm not even convinced I'm gonna hear the difference at home to be honest with you, but that's a story for another video which you can go and watch. But for the sake of this video, let's turn on uh, the highest quality Wi-Fi streaming and you've got two options either lossless or high resolution lossless now Apple are calling lossless uh, up to 24 bit 48 kilohertz files and then high res anything above that and the maximum at the moment is 192 kilohertz and as you can see the file sizes get significantly larger as the bit rate and sample rate goes up as you'd expect so let's go for the highest setting okay high resolution to stream and high resolution to download. Right, that's all done. So let's dive into Apple Music then. Here it is. Don't laugh at my recently listened uh, albums and stuff. Tastes differ, you know. So right, the first thing to say is that if you're listening using AirPods or AirPod Pros that I've got here, or even the brand new AirPod Maxes, you might as well not have turned the lossless streaming off because it's not possible to transmit lossless streams via Bluetooth to AirPod devices or third-party Bluetooth devices for that matter. So if you're gonna be listening with AirPods, just stick to AAC and save yourself a lot of data and hassle. So to listen to the lossless tiers, you need wired headphones, but obviously modern iPads and modern iPhones don't have headphone jacks. So this is where it gets a bit complicated. So if you just want to listen to the standard lossless, that is up to 48 kilohertz sample rate files, you can do that with one of Apple's own dongle adapters. So for the iPad here, it's an iPad Pro, so I need a USB-C to 3.5 mil adapter, and that plugs in nice and easy into the USB-C port, and then obviously pop your headphones in there. And if you do that, you will be listening to up to 24 bit 48 kilohertz files uh, losslessly because that is the maximum resolution that's supported by these dongles. This, by the way, you've seen it in my other videos, one of my favorite bits of tech, but this is just the Apple Lightning to US, uh, sorry, Lightning to 3.5 mil dongle, and it too supports up to 24 bit 48 kilohertz. So that's all well and good. And if you listen through those, you'll, you'll get that standard lossless tier. So I'll show you that. So if we jump into Lucy Dacus's album here, now you can tell in the new version of the software whether an album's available in lossless because you get this little logo here, the three lines and lossless. And then if you click on a song and you open up the album view, once again, you get that little badge in the now playing screen. And more than that, if you click on that, it'll tell you what the actual bit rate and sample rate of the song that's playing is. So in this case, 24-bit, 44.1 kilohertz. 
and that is what I'll be getting through the dongle because it can handle it. Okay, so that's nice and easy. However, the dongle does not handle high res, i.e. above 48 kilohertz audio, neither does the lightning one. So for that, you'll need an external DAC. So it's just as well that I've got one handy. And this, in fact, is the FIO BTR5, which you'll have seen in one of my other videos. Now, obviously, it won't stream uh, in ALAC lossless if you're just connected by Bluetooth. Hence, currently, it's going to AAC, so you need to plug it in. And the reason I've chosen this one is that with the iPad Pro anyways, it's got a USB-C connector, as has the iPad Pro. So it's a simple matter to wire it up. So here's a USB-C to USB-C cable, one end in the iPad Pro, one end in the DAC, and straight away you can see it's switched to wired mode. So now let's try playing the Lucy Dacus album again. And remember we said this was at 44.1 kilohertz. And sure enough, that is brilliant. It's picked up the correct sample rate and it's playing nicely, super duper. Now then, let's try playing a more high res um, album. So for example, Abbey Road by the Beatles. I think this is a 2019 remaster. And here you see, it says it's available in high res lossless. And if we load up a track, so classic John Lennon come together and we go to high res lossless there. So this one's actually in 24 bit, 96 kilohertz, so not the full 192. So hopefully if we fire up the BTR5, hopefully we'll see 96 kilohertz. Here's a moment of truth. Whee, there it is. So we are getting the full high def lossless file through the BTR5. Obviously I need to plug my headphones in. Uh, now there aren't that many songs available in 192 kilohertz. I found a playlist on Reddit which has been curated by someone called Rix. Thank you Rix, that's brilliant. So he's found a few songs here in 192, so there's an old favourite. Hotel California, so let's get that one fired up. And again if we go to the now playing screen, high res loss, there you go, 24 bit 192. And moment of truth, yay, success again. So the great thing about the iPhone and the iPad is when you are connected to an external DAC and the sample rate of the song changes, it automatically switches it to the correct sample rate. Sadly, the situation on a Mac is not so straightforward and I'm going to show you that now. So I've got Apple Music on the Mac open here and the first thing we need to do once again is go into our preferences and make sure we are streaming in the lossless high quality. So I'll just do that now. So when you open preferences on the playback tab, you can scroll down here and make sure that you're streaming preferences set at lossless or high resolution lossless and that your download is likewise if that's what you want. So I've got both of those and once again, I've turned Dolby Atmos off, be gone Dolby Atmos, right. So we'll click okay. So here we've got that Beatles album again and once again, it's showing me it's an high res lossless file. So as you can see, come together, the first track is playing. And if you go up to the now playing screen, you can see, yep, it's definitely playing there, the 24 bit 96 kilohertz file. However, that may not be what you're actually hearing because Mac OS does not do automatic bit rate switching. In fact, the bit rate is determined in this program, audio MIDI setup, which I've got open here. If you open that, it shows you all the audio devices on your computer. In this case, at the moment, I've just got the MacBook Pro speakers. So if you click on those and then go to the sample rate, you can set it from anywhere between 44.1 all the way up to 96. So if I set it to 44.1, even though I'm playing the 96 kilohertz file, as you can see, it's gonna be downsampled to 44.1. So I have to change it every single time in audio MIDI setup. And 96 kilohertz is maximum resolution that's supported just through the MacBook internal speakers. So once again, if I want to get the full uh, high res audio experience. I've got to connect up the FIO and okay, so I've got my FIO connected. And if I go back to the audio devices, um, you can see it's now appeared here, FIO BTR5. So if I go to that and I go to output, you can see it's currently set to uh, 1696. But say I change it to, for example, 16 bit 44, that's CD quality. So even though I'm still playing the high-res lossless file. The OS 
has downsampled it. And if I check my sample rate indicator, it's 44.1. So I'm not getting bit perfect audio. I'm not getting the full high res experience here, which is a bit annoying. There's no exclusive mode for the DAC from Apple Music. Other programs like Audiovana, for example, which I've got installed here, do support direct access to the DAC and will automatically switch sample rate. But frustratingly, Apple Music doesn't do it at the moment. I hope they fix it. So there you have it. There's my quick guide to getting Apple Music lossless from iPad, iPhones and Macs. But that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below as always, and I'll catch you in the next video.